Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Leona in the top lane and we are running Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Cut the Grass, uh, Mana Flow, and Transcendence. We're going to do a crit Leona build where I go Quick Blades and what happens when you have 60% crit with this is um, every time, or actually just your attacks in general lower the cooldown of your abilities by 15%. So I'll have permanent stun, permanent dash, and... Her mint shield. Now this is gonna take a bit to skip. Oh my god, what are you doing, Morgana? I jokingly said, "Can we swap lanes?" <laughs> she's she's up here now. Okay, interesting. Um. All right. Well, anyway. This is going to scale a bit, so I'm going to go a Essence Reaver first. No way she just sold her support item and came up here and did that. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, this, it was a joke. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, that's never happened before. Holy cow. Anyway. I'm going to go Essence Reaver so I have unlimited mana because we are going to use a lot. Plus, Sheen proc is really good on Leona. And then also, I'm going to get... I can either go Kraken Slayer or I might go Shield Bow because we need to be able to survive. I need to stop trolling early. I can't believe... I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> I don't want to fight this guy. I have a shield. Just a Doran shield. I think once I get Sheen proc, I can fight him. Oh, not not during the cannon. How could you do this to me? Oh, I got it. Okay. I think we got him. Nice. That works. You know, I'm already kind of attacking really fast with this lethal tempo. But that's crazy. With the quick blades... I didn't uh, realize you don't have to crit anymore for it to refund the cooldown, so this is going to work even better than uh, the last time I did this. So I have enough for Sheen already. Our wave clear is really bad till we get Essence Reaper because I can't really use my mana. Wow. I got scammed on both of those minions. Creep blocked on the first one, second one just one damage off. I think we'll do Emacs. That's what you do to stick on people. Yeah, my bot lane is going to flame me. So we need to carry. I don't think I'm going to get this wave pushed. So I'm just going to reset, go get that Sheen. Plus a refill. But yeah, essentially I'm going to be able to just uh, perma stun anyone. I don't think I'll need a, um, what's it called? A tier? I could get boots here. I don't think I need the potion if I could just beat him in an all in. Oh? I think the only one we'll have trouble with is Melzar pressing R. But Kaiser and Renata might be scary to fight. I think we can duel this guy, though. I just gotta break his, uh... own plating. But I think he still has Ignite. Oh, no. What is happening down there? Alright, let's just all in and see where this goes. Because the lethal tempo is actually doing work. Oh, wow. Wait a second. Oh, he flashed right when I did. I don't know if I can kill him now. Because he's too close to turret. And his bone plating is going to be back up. Kha'Zix isn't here, though. I suppose I could just reset.
Let's do... I don't think I need the potion. I'm just going to go straight into the Essence Reaver. Because as soon as I get this item, I can do anything. This game has some loud sound effects. So I think I'll do Essence Reaver, or Cringe Bow, Quick Blades. I could do Kraken Slayer, get even more attack speed to reset the stun quicker. But I think I'm gonna have a problem staying alive, whereas the Cringe Bow will give me health too. And then I'll have built-in resistance from my W, so I think we'll be okay with that build. And then I could just go Phantom Dancer after that, get the attack speed that I would get from Kraken. I could actually, after I have 60%, I could just go Shoujin because I don't need to keep building crit because I don't rely on crits to uh, reset the cooldown. So I think that's what I'll do. Although Shoujin's reduced cooldown on um, abilities that have CC, which are all of mine. But the uh, the stats Shoujin gives is really good because it gives haste, a ton of health, a ton of AD. Oh my god. I can't believe I didn't miss that cannon. I think we just fight him. Okay, we lost this. How did that not stun him? Oh, I got Sedge. Nice. I'll take it. I thought I was 100% dead there, because he was winning that fight super hard. Man, I really don't like how my autos are leaving these minions at 1 HP. Give me my Essence Reaver so I can just Q every single one of them. Luckily, the Rumble didn't just alt me right away when I went in. He saved it for when I was running, but then he didn't even hit it on me. Reaver. 1700. I won't have it on this base. The question is, do I want cooldown boots or attack speed shoes? I think I might go attack speed shoes. Because the faster I attack, the faster I can refund the cooldown. And if there's a lower cooldown, there's going to be less refund. So I think I do a mix of attack speed and haste. Let me see. Honestly, after three crit items, I think I just go bruiser and just get really tanky. Then I can survive and just perma stun. Maybe I even go hullbreaker and just split. I think I can beat him now. I have Ignite. Uh oh. Guys is uh, kind of fed. Sorry, we have a scaling team and we have a ton of CC. I don't know where Rumble went. I think he's mid. We'll max uh, W next. Free resistance. The Q doesn't gain too much. Gains a little bit of damage. What's going on? I'm just going to solo Herald. This might take a little bit. I just need Rumble not to check this. The fact that he's not top anymore, of course. Fuck it. 
You're tanking the Herald, buddy, not me. Oh, triumph. Hit the back of it. Ah, shucks. That sucks. Okay, they must have had vision, because they both started running there. Oh, well. At least I got a kill, finally. Must have been on a ward. Yeah, we'll definitely do cringe bow. I actually only killed Rumble because the Herald was hitting him too. <laughs> he didn't move, he just let the Herald hit him. Well, I think Kaiza died. Somebody got her shut down. Yeah, Sedge is pretty big. That's good. And Cassidy's scaling, so we're fine. Yeah, might go like Strojan Hallbreaker and just be like the unkillable op lane split. I mean, his ult's not up, so we just fight. <laughs> when the Q stun ends, then I just go for the E. Okay, yeah, see, the Reaver is where my damage comes in. Hopefully we don't run out of mana with this thing. Ozix is down there. I have wave clear finally. Feels good. Yeah, you just need this first item and then you're a champion. Well, this gives me even more wave clear. I do want the attack speed shoes though. I'm gonna get the boots. Just cause they give me like twice as much attack speed as this and mobility. So I can really stick on them. Good job team. Gotta be supportive. Also, I've been getting uh, the comments. Some of you do want to see me do the uh, Teemo climb. And I will do that, but right now... I'm actually climbing on Zerat support. I just went from Diamond 3 to Diamond 1 yesterday. So, I'm going to keep playing until I get too sick of it. And then we'll do the Teemo climb. Because for some reason, I think Teemo mid's like actually kind of OP. Even in high elo. I can't wait till I get the uh, quick blaze. This guy can't move already. He actually can't move already. So when I have the quick blades, he's not going to be able to play the game. Shut down. The thing that sucks is they don't have a tank. So nobody's going to survive long enough for me to really like leave in a chain CC for an hour. Just watching this item when it's off cooldown, then I use an ability. Man, how is this guy always everywhere I go? Oh, I'm killing him. I'm dead. Darn. He actually does a lot of damage. He's at every camp or objective I try to take. I think Sedge kills both of them, maybe. I don't know how Kaiza's gonna kill her. Oh, that sucks. She's dead. Morg just pressed W. Okay, never mind. Sejuani's health just disappeared. Let's do this and that. Once I have this item, Kha'Zix can't really kill me because I'll heal. And I'll have a shield. And 
And then third is Quick Blades. Fourth, I still haven't decided. It's either Hullbreaker or Shojin. I could even go Death Stance and then I'd be really hard to kill. I think if I fight Kha'Zix in a 1v1 when I have my stuff up, I beat him. Oh, my cannon. I don't think Rumble wants to fight us anymore, though. He hasn't stood a chance in a while. I'm gonna run bot. Maybe I could pick up some kills there. Yeah, Kaiser has a bounty and 10 kills. It's just if they're by turret, there's not much I could do. What's that guy doing? Triss is gonna be right here, or Kaiser is. I don't really wanna jump into four people. I gotta keep fighting this guy. Are you serious? Too low now to kill Kaizo. Doing the dragon. Not my ward. What the hell is this thing? Ah, oh, Mal's is still up. I think I'm okay. Okay, Cassidy does a lot of damage. I stopped him from getting a free dragon. I need 150 for cringe bow. But if I get hit by one Malzahar E, I'm dead. Okay, well, they stole the dragon. This is ridiculous. He's getting everything. We just need to watch this. I don't want him to get Harold. Okay. I got some beef. Honestly, a Titanic wouldn't be that bad over Shojin. Gives more HP. Did he get the crab too? Oh my god. If I catch him though, he's dead. Alright, what is Quick Blades build out of? It's pretty darn expensive. Your team has destroyed a turret. Rampage. Ozix is dead. Huh. Finder? Okay, the crits came in there. <laughs> I just think that's so funny. You see a Leona, you're full health, she just dashes to you, kills you in like three autos. I actually killed her so fast. Yeah, what the fuck is that, Leona? <laughs> I read, I'm gonna ask. I think she's gonna let me have it. If she wants it, though, I won't take it. We gotta make it to quick blades. It's a big worm. I actually do a lot of damage already. Use an auto reset so I get two hits off really quick. Ah, oh, man. 
literally every time, man. He's always in the right spot at the right time. If Malzar wasn't there, though, he was dead. He was very dead. Um, I have enough for the pickaxe. Damn it, man. They have... I'm going to get a sweeper because they literally have every bush warded. Hit. What can I get to survive that? Maybe even get a tank item. I might just go the Titanic. I think I need health. I could clean up if they chase too far. They're going top. Oh. What are you doing? Now he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. They saw me. I could dive her. She doesn't have ult. I'm gonna do it. Never mind. Not with not with Renata there. Cause I'll die to turret before she dies. I don't think they have vision of this bush. They just don't want to go in when they're clumped because Malzahar is just going to ult me. If Malzahar ults me, then I don't get to play the game. They're going in over there. I don't know. Retreat. I'm not there. We lost our ADC. I'm getting the split on. Oh wait, we kind of need this dragon. Okay, Cassidy's healthy. <laughs> Gotta get Kaiser. Damn, couldn't get Kaiser. Oh. Hey, what killed her? What killed her? Hmm. Alright, I got two of them. I have quick blades now. From a CC. I mean, let's look at show. Oh, I can't get the Shoujin with the quick blades. I forgot about that. Okay, we'll just go Titanic then or Hallbreaker. Actually get a lot of resistance with this. I don't want to go Hallbreaker, but if I team fight, it's kind of useless. Titanic's better. I mean, I'll get both. Let's do Hallbreaker and I split. We didn't get the dragon, did we? No. It's Ocean's, not the end of the world. Because Ocean's kind of only OP on tanks. At least I'm not having mana issues. It's just my damage is only single target, so I can only kill one of them at a time. I will protect you. Okay, Cosmic's dead. Kaiser might die too. Oh yeah, Kaiser's dead. Almost. Get this dude. Oh, he's so dead. Let's 
There we go. Oh, of course, as soon as we get quick blades and win one fight, they fucking F up. Just my luck, man. Whatever, we got the perma stun there. And we were already kind of perma stunning them before that. That's so stupid, man. After I, one fight after I get the item they have of. Uh, that's life. Life of the tubers. I'm gonna give it to Morgana. Alright, well if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I actually did the most damage. Very sloppy game, but I was kind of hoping it would go longer. The lethal tempo was very nice, though. But yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all on the second channel, Zwag Zareth. Give me some really fun builds to try that are hard to pull off. Leave them down in the comments. Peace.